OBS Studio is amazing to record videos, but probably you're wasting a lot of time during cutting and during recording your videos because you don't record properly. So use this simple trick that I showed today. This is what you will get. By pressing a single hotkey, you will get two different files, one that is called screen and one that is called webcam. In the screen file, you have all your screen recording data, for instance, your game or your virtual machine or whatever. And in the webcam, you do have the actual webcam stream. So let's walk through the settings and see how I do it. We need four different things to actually achieve it. The first one is the profile. The second one are the settings of the profile with hotkeys and file name. The third one is a scene. And the last one is a small batch script to make our lives easier. So let's look at the profile first. So I usually use two different profiles, which are called one is screen and the other one is called webcam. I create here now a third one to walk through what you need to set in order to achieve the same result. So if you create a new profile and I did it here by calling it test, it's important to recognize that the profiles don't share the settings. So it means that for a different profile, you can set a different output name and a different hotkey and also different settings for inputs and so on. This is fairly important because you cannot have two instances share the same output name or output file. Otherwise, they would crash if you start recording. So these are the things that I usually adapt in the settings. I go to the settings and then there are a few things that you need to watch out for. The first one probably is the quality of your file. So this is the recording quality where same as stream is probably not what you want. I usually use this one has some large file size, but at least the video quality is decent. Same goes here for the FPS value. These are on the video. So you can also set here something like 60 FPS. I can always downgrade in post processing, but I ne can never upgrade in post processing. So I record with a good quality and then I go from there. Important thing here is the hotkeys. The hotkeys should be shared across the profile. So you need to set the hotkey in the first profile and also the hotkey in the second profile. And here the start and stop recording is interesting because if both of the profiles have the same recording, then you can fire up two OBS instances. And with those two OBS instances, they start recording simultaneously, which means that you always have the perfect synchronization. So choose here a hotkey which you want to use I usually use something like Control F12, which is basically not used anywhere else. And the last one, which is pretty important, is here the file formatting. So usually uh, it has some encoding on when the video was recorded, but you could also set here, depending on which profile you're using, something that distinguishes it. For instance, now I'm using the profile test. That's why I add here a test at the end. And then in the file name, I will also get the test at the end. So in my real files, I have here webcam and screen at the end to really see what is inside this file. Then you can press apply and then you're already good to go. The important thing after that is that you also create different scenes. So you can have a scene collection and in the scene collection, you usually have different scenes. And I usually have here the scenes webcam and the scenes screen. So in the screen, uh, you record your whatever you want to record from the screen, like your game window. So for instance, your desktop, or you could put the game window inside. And usually I also have a small taskbar, which is basically hiding all of the programs that I'm currently opening because nobody should be interested in that, right? And um, in the webcam stream, I usually record here the cam. It's black right now because I'm already recording in already a third instance. Um, but uh, you should basically only add your webcam inside um, this scene because later on you can then combine the scenes. Then to make life a little bit easier, because now you need to have basically two OBS instances fired up, we can add a small batch file. And uh, the interesting thing here inside the batch file is that it's starting OBS with some pre-configured scenes. So for instance, I'm starting OBS here once in the first line with the webcam profile and the scene webcam. This means that I will have the scene webcam, which is only including my webcam. And I save the data of the scene later on with the hotkey that I set, with the quality settings that I set, 
and the file name that I set inside whatever output folder I have selected. The same one goes for the second one. Here I have just the screen profile and the screen scene. And I choose this minus minus multi because using that um, you don't get this message that OBS is start, starting to or trying to start with a second instance and uh, I uh, don't want to get annoyed by this message every single time. Um, so that's basically it. You can find also these commands in the description of the video below. So just paste them into a .bat file and then you're basically ready to go. The only thing that you now need to do is to double click your bat file. It will fire up two instances. In this time, I now have five instances open here because I'm already recording, but it will fire up these instances. And then the only thing that you need to do is press your hotkey that you have selected and you're good to go and you can start recording and later in post-processing you can post-process all that you want. So if this was helpful to you please leave a like and enjoy whatever you want to record.